Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you are well. This is mathematics. In this video, we want to answer this question. Coming from 2023 GCE paper 1 and it was question number 8. Let me go through the question. You should identify the topic for me. An arithmetic progression is given as 1, 7, 13. It goes on. Find the first part, 8, 10, B, sum of the first 15 terms. Just like that. One mark here, two marks here. What topic is this? That's the first thing. Well, this is coming from sequences and series. Now remember, under that topic, sequences and series, we look at two types of sequences. What are those? We have what we call AP and GP. These are the two types of sequences that we consider under sequences and series. AP stands for arithmetic progression, GP stands for geometric progression. What type of sequence is given here? Is it AP or GP? An arithmetic progression, AP. That's the first identity. So now we know that we are dealing with the AP and not GP. We proceed. This sequence that we have been given is 1, 7, 13. So the sequence is 1, 7, 13. That is the sequence, right? There are certain things that you need to understand under AP. How do you know that the sequence that I've been given is AP? If I just say, here is the sequence, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, it goes on. Identify if it is AP or GP. How do you know? Simple, is it? AP sequence has what we call common difference. It has got what? Common difference. This one we use letter D, small letter D. Common difference. For as long as a sequence has got common difference, then it is AP, final. But what is this common difference? We always get common difference by doing this. You subtract. Difference means subtract. Yeah? So this second term minus this. What answer are we getting? One. Again, this, it should be common. Remember, it should be common, not different. Three, take away two. And look at what I'm doing. I'm not saying one take away. Mm -mm. It should be in this direction. So two, take away one, it's one. Three, take away two, it's one. Four, take away three, it's one. Five, take away four, it's one. Therefore, this sequence is AP. That's the way we identify just like that. When we come to GP, I'll show you as well. But here, the interest is only AP. So now here we are told there is nothing we like testing. We are already told that the sequence is AP. Meaning common difference. So let's say our common difference D is 7 minus 1. It is 6. It should be the same. 13 minus 7 here. It should be 6. If they are different, then it is not AP. I hope we are together. So our D is 6. Now, the first part, let's start looking at the questions here. They are saying, find the eighth term. These are called terms. So here we have three terms. First term, second term, third term. Then they are saying we have to find the term that will be on number 8. So there are two ways. You can either use the formula. If you don't want to use the formula, well, you can still count and find the one that will be on number 8. That will be the answer. 
So here you've been given number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is what they're asking you. Eighth game. Now that will take long, eh? You just use the formula for any theme of an AP. What is that formula? So you say any theme. We write it in that one of any theme of an AP is always equal to a plus n minus one d. That is the formula that you should be using for you to find any theme. You use this formula. A plus n minus 1 d. A stands for the first term. Look at this sequence. What is the first term? 1. So my A is 1. What is my D? Common difference. D, which is 6 here. This minus this, this minus this. 6. What is my N? Position. A term which is number 8. So my n is 8. I'm looking for the term that is on number 8. That is the meaning of n. Substitute in there. Find the answer just like that. So we are going to say term number 8 here is equal to my first term 1 here plus my n here which is 8. 8 minus 1 here, D is common difference, 6. Let me now work out. Term number 8 will be equal to 1 plus 8 take away 1 is 7. 7 brackets means times, so there's times here, 6. Then term number 8 will be equal to 1. Here, be careful. Use board mass. Don't say 1 plus it. It will be wrong. It will be wrong. Use board mass. Multiply before you add. So it will be 1 plus, what is 7 times 6? 42. Then we can add. Term number 8 will be 43. You can now confirm by using the long method. Eh? You can confirm the term that will be your number 8. You find that it will be 43. You can be adding my 6, 6 plus 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, until the 8th term. You find that it will be 43. Is that clear? Well, we move on. Some of the first 15 terms. Now we are talking about series. Eh? We want to add them. Some of the first 15. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 15 of them, we add them. What answer are we going to get? Again, you can first of all list all the 15. Then start adding. That is okay. But again, you can use the formula. What formula is that? So this one was A. Now I'll be able to write my B here. For the sum of the first terms. So, under AP, sum is written like this. Sum of any terms is equal to n over 2 square bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d plus. That is the formula. You can't forget that. What is the formula? Now let's start substituting in the formula. Sum of how many terms? Sum of the first 15. 15. So 15 here. Sum of 15 is equal to, meaning here n is 15 over 2 square bracket 2. What is my a in the question? My a is 1, meaning the first term. 1 here plus n is 15, 15 minus 1, m, okay, then d is 6, d 6, like that. We simplify the numbers. Sum of 15 will be equal to 15 over 2, let's work out here, 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 15 
take away 1 is 14. So I've got 14 times 6. Okay? Then I'll say sum of 15 will be equal to 15 over 2. I can change the brackets here. 2 plus I have to multiply first. Can you see that? I have to multiply. So what is 14 times 6? You do the multiplication. 14 times 6. 6 times 4 is 24. For here, 2. 6 times 1 is 6 plus this, 8. So I've got 84. So this one gives me 84, like this. I will continue by saying sum of 15 terms will be equal to 15 over 2 over 2 times what is 2 plus 84? That is 86. So 86, like that. Sum of 15 will be equal to, I can now simplify here, over 1. What is, uh, okay, I can reduce the 2 and 86 there. 2 in here, 1. 2 in 6, I mean 2 in uh, 8 is 4. Again, 2 in 6 is 3. So I've got 43. So I have now 15 times 43. 15 times 43. Sum of 15 times is equal to, we now multiply those two numbers. 15 times 43. Let me just do it right here. 15 times 43. I hope you'll be able to see. 15 times 43 there. Okay. 15 times 43. In fact, let me do it from here. Let me do it from here so that we don't disadvantage anyone. 15 times 43. Mm -hmm. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry one. 3 times 1 is the 3 plus 1. 4. 0 here. 4 times 5 is 20. 0. Carry 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 6 then we add plus 5 plus 0 is 5 4 plus 0 is 4 then is 6 so we have 645 645 is the final answer this is the way we do it i hope you've learned something huh Thank you very much and remember to share this video so that others can also learn. Okay? Remember as well to follow me on Facebook, TikTok and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Introductory Learning. Bye-bye.